Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you guys that don't know me, my name is Beverly. And for those of you that do, welcome back. Thank you guys for joining me. Okay, so I need to just really catch up with you guys. There's just been a lot. A lot has happened. Oh my god, look at my eye. I look so bad. I just woke up, by the way. I just try to look a little presentable for camera. <laughs> but there has been a lot that has happened. Um, one, I have moved. Two, I obviously got a new camera. The quality looks way better now. Um, other things is I acquired a new hobby um, that you guys might have not known unless you guys are like close friends or whatnot. But I've acquired a new hobby and that is just crafting. Um, I actually like it. I started selling stuff like maybe... I want to say maybe in April. I'm not sure. I make custom t-shirts. I customize cups. I do aprons, stickers. I do a lot more than that. I'm just really getting into detail and remembering right now. Yeah. So that's basically what I've been up to. I've been working on that type of thing. So it's just been a lot. And, you know, like, life is life. And I have no excuses why I haven't been on YouTube. But I just wanted to tell you guys I'm back. And hopefully I'm back for consistency and back for, like, a longer time. Don't get me wrong. My channel is just about everything. It's just basically about me and my life. So... I will want to continue doing my makeup videos and all that. I just haven't, to be honest, put on makeup. Like, makeup. Maybe two weeks ago was the last time I put makeup on. But before that, it had been, like, I'm talking, like, months. <laughs> it was crazy. And I'm sorry that I look a little orange here and a little tan, which I kind of am because we went floating and I got burnt. But, yeah, that's besides the point. So, I'm just going to take you guys along today for basically what I do in a day or what I'm doing in a day right now um not really gonna show you everything just yet just yet because those are like for future videos so I'm gonna show you like bits and things here and there um but let's go ahead and get started because it is actually let's see it's 10 4 in the morning and yeah okay so I thought I'd show you just this side of my crafting area <laughs> as you guys can see it is a mess. I have crap everywhere, all over my desk. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of, it's crazy. And then over here I have my Cricut and then all that. This table's temporary. It's not going to stay there, but I'll show you this for now. The rest of the room is a little bit more messier and I'm just, just not ready yet. So there's that. What I'm working on right now, basically, is... I haven't really made these yet, but I'm like, why not? I got an order for one, so I'm like, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. They seem, honestly, they don't seem that difficult because I've made some of the stuff already just for other things, and if you're putting it all together, it's kind of the same thing, but I'll show you guys. I purchased these at Walmart, obviously, that's no secret. Um, these are shadow boxes, and they are 12 by 12 like in the size wise there you go and I decided I'm going to make my mom a custom one aside from that I have two other ones that I have for orders but I probably will show you guys once I get into my mom's she just kind of wants like I don't know if you guys seen on TikTok like these trends and stuff going around for like shadow boxes um they just have like Rosa de Guadalupe or you know whoever in the middle and then there's just like all these red flowers around it She kind of wanted something like that I really haven't gotten all the details of exactly what she wants and my mom's not the type of person to like pressure me to do something which sometimes I need pressure because I forget so That's that um, so right now I'm basically just looking like for the templates and sizing them just making sure they fit they're not too big and stuff which you guys will probably see later on once i'm actually making them and then also just like wording on the actual glass of the shadow box it's just made with vinyl and you just like transfer it on there and stuff which again you'll see so that's what i'm gonna go ahead and get started hopefully it doesn't take me that long to figure it out because I 
I wanted to show you guys, oh my god, this freaking chair. It sucks to have carpet and a rolling chair because it doesn't roll. Um, look at these. These are already custom orders. They are the badge reels. This is like the sweet bread Mexican conchas. And the bad re badge reels just um, pull down. And this is the concha right here. If you guys see, I do make these handmade. They are made with clay, obviously. And then they set and they're ready to go. And then you just um, glue them onto the badge reel. But these are custom made. If you guys are interested in purchasing any of these, you guys can go ahead and contact me through my Instagram. I will now post it down below because uh, I've obviously haven't shown you guys my crafting Instagram, but I will post it now down below along with my regular Instagram. And then this one here is the same. It's just a pink concha, you know? I don't know, I wonder what flavor it is. I don't know if they consider this strawberry, but this is another one. Also, it's good for any like office staff, medical dental that use like their badges. This is super cute and like customized. I will also soon be customizing them, putting little pictures on them for the badge reels and just other little things that I could come up with that I can custom handmade. I will totally add those. I have had some requests. Um, for like customized ones like butterflies and such but I am not like an artist like I'm not that good to where I can you know customize things like that I'll just have to see exactly how I can get like those things to put on the badges maybe um, but so far I just have like the three conchas which is the vanilla I'm assuming strawberry and chocolate I have these that are super cute they're my mazapanes as you can see, custom made. And then I add that sticker. Oh my god, why wouldn't it focus? Okay, I add that sticker and then I seal it with epoxy over it. So for sure you know that this is going to last you. Again, this adheres to the back of the badge reel, or the front of the badge reel, sorry. And it's good to go. So I have a masapan one as well. And then I have another one right here too that... Um, it's basically already done drying. It's been drying for about two days now, so it's pretty much good to go. Let me show you the last one. So, tell me this isn't cute. Yes, it is the paleta payaso with the actual, like, stick on it. Obviously, if it's either a bad drill, I'm deciding if I want to take the stick off of it just so it can be more functional and not in the way like if you're having this attached to yourself like this bottom is not poking you so i'm probably just gonna do like the little face but it's all cute it's still the same i've seen them already on like pop sockets and i think they just work they're more practical so we might go ahead and do that this was just kind of like a first try to see how it comes out and i liked how it came out i was even able to put like that fake little sugar around the eyes and all that so it makes it look super cute. Um, this is the chocolate concha. Again, available on my Instagram shop or whatnot. And then again, the vanilla one. This is an extra one. So I have those right now. I'm slowly making them as I get orders. Just because I don't know how many to make at once. And if they will sell. So I'm just kind of trying to do like two at a time. And so far, I, it's been working that way. So I think I might keep it for now. I also wanted to show you guys, these are the cups that I customized. They're just like the Starbucks venti cups. They do come with the straw and the lid and this is all reusable. So you can wash these as long as you like take care of them. As far as care instructions, I do send those out whenever I am sending out these orders. So just letting you guys know on that but yeah that is basically what i wanted to show you guys as well
okay update it is literally hours later i've just been working kind of just um making some invoices what else did i do oh yeah i was working on the flowers for those shadow boxes i as you guys saw i was um finishing up some badges that just needed some last final touches and just things like that also i had lunch of course because i don't really have breakfast so i just jumped to lunch and now i'm just kind of like coming down to a crash which i know i know i woke up like nine something ten but i'm just so freaking tired it is not even funny it's like crazy i'm so tired and i just really need a nap like i think i'm gonna take like maybe a 30 minute nap or something just so i can regain some energy shower and then just do some other stuff that i had to do for today also i am going to be doing some i guess like some decorations just to like um add to the table for my nephew's baptism he's actually getting baptized tomorrow and i said i was gonna make some decorations i've only made like maybe one thing which i don't want to say anything you guys will see it on my instagram i want to post it all together but i am going to be doing some of that stuff just some little decorational pieces just to kind of go on the table that way it doesn't look so plain it's nothing big it's just something very small super last minute um but yeah he's getting baptized so i'm gonna work on that later as well but like i mentioned i'm gonna take a nap first so yeah so yeah I'll see you guys in a bit. Three hours later. It is obviously several hours later now. I was doing the same stuff. I didn't want to bore you guys. I'm currently on my way here to turn off my oven. And the reason behind that is because I was making a... What is it? Oh, a paleta payaso. I want to make the actual pop socket. So I was doing that. Let me show you how that looks. So yeah, well that is drying. I just took it out of the oven. I actually have to go ahead and make another concha. I think she said uh, the pink one. Um, there is somebody that last minute messaged me right now wanting one. So I'm going to go ahead and get that started. I do have all my tools out. So I guess I'll kind of show you what I use and everything. Probably in another video, I'll show you how I'm actually making it. Also, if you guys haven't already, follow me on TikTok. I will link it down below if it's not already down below in the description and I mean I'm just having fun with TikTok right now I mean who isn't I've been actually doing like little TikToks of me making like the certain conchas or the masapan and everything on TikTok so if you guys want to see how I do it go on there but like I said I might film it for you guys later on in the future I just need to actually get a tripod to hold this up right okay so if you guys notice here I have my clay this is a blue clay this is the red one i also use this one here and then the brown i like to mix the brown with the black just to get and get that darker color because if you notice this is it this isn't as dark as what the paleta payaso is normally it's darker and the reason why i say that is because i actually have paleta payasos at my house and i was looking at that i was like no the color it does not match um i also use this like liquids Gulpi, I believe it's called. It's kind of like glue or whatnot for clay. And mind you that this clay does cure, but it cures in the oven. So you have to put it in the oven for it to cure. If not, it won't work. And this is the pop socket. I'm going to be putting the paleta payaso on, like I mentioned um, before, just so it can be more convenient and not in your way. I'm not going to be putting the stick on there. It's just the face itself. But imagine, this is going to be a super cute pop socket. And I also was making TikToks, which that's still in the going, so I'm not messing with my phone. And yeah, and then those are all the flowers. I don't have a lot ready, as you guys can see. I only have some what done. But mostly what I was working on was just trying to get all of these done, all of these cut out on my Cricut. Um, but they're already cut out, so basically all I have to do is start assembling it, and I'll be almost done. Okay, I'm finally out of my house. It is 7.06 p.m. already, 
and we are just leaving now because I have to go do a delivery and also aside from that delivery I have to go pick up some chocoflanes that I ordered from this girl that she always um, actually purchased for me so I also was like hey I want some chocoflanes because like to be honest I've been craving some of those so I went ahead and ordered some of those and also I have her little delivery here um, this is my packaging as you guys can tell it's super simple nothing like so crazy but it's just basically the bag and it has my sticker on there and it just says invites by Babs and more which of course I had mentioned already but that is the name of the of my crafting business and so yeah well we are on our way and it is pretty hot here in Oklahoma well my husband says it's 98 here in it is 93, what is it? 98 with 60% humidity. 98 with 60% humidity. Humi, humidity. Humidity. I suck, I can't even talk, I swear. I don't know how, I, I don't know. I don't know nothing. Uh, my brain has not been working all the way today and I just have brain farts all the time. So yeah, what's new? Okay, you guys, so I just picked up the postres which is the mini little choco flanes from this person gelatinas y postres celia if you guys are local you guys should hit them up because oh my god look at these how beautiful they are i literally was like i want some choco flanes with strawberries and they made it happen these look so good i'm sorry my light my lighting is horrible but look at them oh my goodness oh my gosh i can't wait to try them say hi to the vlog He's so cute. This is my nephew, Jason. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. He's the cutest. Look at him. <laughs> Look at his little cute shoes, you guys. He has new shoes and he's looking cute, aren't you? Aren't you? Oh my god, he's like obsessed with himself right now. Say hi to the vlog. Say hi. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I came here to visit my uh, brother and sister-in-law. We are going to go get tacos tonight. So I said, why not? And I also brought the mini chocoflanes for my baby so he can taste them. But look at him. Look how cute he looks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn the camera. Look how cute he is. Jason. Oh, he got style. He got style. His favorite things right now are to uh, slap people and what else? Oh, and bite people too. He's very good at that. He's been good at that since he was like months old. And then he just started walking how long ago? I think it was 13 months when everyone was trying so hard to hold on to this. <laughs> the big old tag underneath his. <laughs> He's so cute. Shake that booty. Shake that booty. Hey, hey, that's gonna be my thumbnail. Shake that booty. Shake that booty. Shake that booty. Anyways, he's just the cutest little thing. So my sister's here. Say hi, Chanel. She doesn't want to be in the vlog, but I'm still going to put her in. Look, he lost his shoe already, you guys. Oh my gosh. He's the cutest. Where's his shoe at? I came to my brother's house, like I mentioned, you guys, and he is applying a decal I made. Where's your card? Say hi. Say hi, Jose. <laughs> he already has his tomatero sticker. And it says the grand reveal. It says baby cut on board. It's funny. Thought it was cute. I was gonna put it here. <laughs> the day we came. Oh. Uh, yeah, I thought we were gonna. Where? There, I, was gonna, I was gonna put it here the day we came. Oh no. I told him to put it there. We can like, nah. So now we are on our way to go pick up our food. Um, we ordered tacos 
and we are going to go ahead and get this agua fresca um i'm getting um like i usually get like sandia what are you guys getting to drink i don't know oh my god they said i don't know at Sorry, the same time <laughs> i really no nah, not every day but i go almost like eh, a lot i go a lot i'm a frequent um customer Maybe there <laughs> almost every other day yeah if i don't go every day it's like basically every other day but we always get aguas i mean we just try the new stuff that are coming out but you didn't know they knew they had i don't i've come here once oh my god okay well yeah i'll see you guys in a bit okay you guys it is so hot we just literally um got back we got our food we secured the drinks i need to show you guys the drinks here in a minute this is agua de pepino con limon and piña all mixed together and then um i got agua de sandia i can't ever finish the big one so i get that one and then juan it just likes to use geriat we got him some papas caseras and then we also have our tacos so we are ready to enjoy but i just wanted to thank you guys so much for all the love and support and i'm going to end this vlog here because to be honest we are just gonna eat and i'm gonna end it it's already like 8 45 and yeah that's basically all we did today but thank you guys so much if you guys stay to the end of this vlog and i'll see you in my next one bye I saw you, I felt something I never felt Come closer, I'll give you all